today. We are getting another fish tank. This right here comes with the stand and the tank. Oh my, there's two of them. Yep, I'm not picking up that thing. Heavy, oh. why are <laughs> Babies, let's go, follow me. Oh, you already have it plugged in? Yep. Oh, damn, that thing is bright. What is going on, Caparos? Welcome back to another video here today. We are getting another fish tank. I went to the comment sections on last video saying whether you should get a discus or a flower horn for the 160 gallon tank, and I could not. There was just comments, discus, 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 flower horn, flower horn, flower horn, etc. It just kept on going between the two. So I said, why not make my fan base happy and just stick with two of the tanks? So we're getting a flower horn tank, and the 160 will be like a community tank discus, tetras, all that sort of thing in that tank and then this one will be a flower horn, so it's gonna be super cool. Doing this for the Caferos, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna go look at the tanks that are right behind this here, and uh, hopefully we could find our future flower horn at home. Here, here's another which one, which one, which one? All right, this is a 65 gallon. This is literally perfect for a flower horn. It's wide. Look at this. Yeah, I think it's wide as hell. <laughs> this right here comes with the stand and the tank, the, also the glass lid and the LED light. That right there is $399.99, so that's a $400 tank. And then over here, uh, $30 less for a 56 gallon. So, uh, uh, let's get this one. Alrighty, so I just, well, we just told the people at PetSmart that we were getting this 65 gallon tank. So uh, yeah, we've officially made the decision. We're gonna get the 65 gallon tank along with my 160 gallon that is already at my house. So now we're gonna be rolling with two tanks. This right here is gonna be our flower horns tank. Once we do eventually get it, we're obviously gonna let this cycle for a while. We gotta do all the layouts in the bottom. We're not gonna get anything for that today. We're just gonna get the tank, pop in the new tank. Alrighty, so we now purchased the tank. We officially have a new home for our future flower horn. You just put a cricket in the back. How did you get a cricket in the first place? Put him back Come in. Here, little guy. There he goes. He took a little adventure out here uh -huh. by, by the new tank. Part one out of part two. Oh, thanks, Nick. You're just protecting. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Wait. He's going down. <laughs> uh. Wrong time to call me, people. Wrong time. Uh. Woo! Yo, we got a visitor, bro. Wait, shine the light in there. Oh my, there's two of them. Yep, I'm not picking up that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't want to kill him. Holy there's the other one. Out. Hey, buddy. Okay, they're both out. No, one just went back in when you knocked it out. That's not good. There's one right there. There's one up here. Bro, how are we putting this in a truck? <laughs> we're getting in the bed. It'll be in the bed. Alright, we're out. We got the spider mobile. There's another one. There's another one right there. <laughs> Oh, the doors are flying. Okay. Fish tank. I'll, I'll do this part. You do that? Yep. You do that for me? Yep. Open the tailgate? Yep. I appreciate the help. That a boy? Bro, oh my gosh, dude. It wasn't even that heavy. All right. Alrighty, we are back home with the tank stand and the fish tank, which hey, is in. <laughs> the fish tank stand and the fish tank, which is in the truck right now. So, uh, both these things we're gonna bring into the room real quick, set them up, see how it looks in certain different spots in the room, and uh, then we'll have our flower horns new home into the house. So, uh, let's get this done. Man, strength. <laughs> Dropper. My parents don't even know I have this thing. They're gonna be like, another fish tank? <laughs> All right, well here's the big 160 gallon fish tank right here. And uh, we gotta find somewhere to put this thing now. There's another snake tank right there with a red tail boa. Now we've got this one. Where's she going? Hey. Hi, Mom. Alex, nothing, it's nothing. You're not going to the snake? I heard you say you want to be No. No, this is fine, we just gotta, huh? No, this is, um, I bought a stand for the snake tank. It looks great, doesn't it? I measured perfectly. 
It's not another fish tank. Huh? No, it's uh the table looked a little too big, so I decided not to keep it on there. You're so full of crap. It's not bad. Alright, so I don't think she got the memo, but we obviously right, have another fish exactly tank. Right. Where are we putting it, for real? Want it right up there. <laughs> Bro, stop, please. I cannot take you for real. <laughs> but we have nowhere to put this thing. No, literally. why though? Like, I, I know this would be weird, but if you like, kind of like move this like right there, right here would look dope. You can't lock. Alright, Luna's got to move, so... Luna's relocating. She doesn't even care. She, yeah, she's chill. Her yeah. tank looks so Did sick now. On the thing? I don't, I, dude. I haven't honestly haven't checked. Like I fall asleep probably before this fish does. This tank right here is the one that we're gonna put probably discus. Uh, what other fish? Tetras. A bunch of clown loaches. A ton of different things into this big 160 gallon tank, and then swap on over to this side. Here is where the 65 gallon will be with our flower horn. We're gonna get a grade A3. Yep, triple A, and it's got like the most super like supreme colors on it, like super bright blue. Tinted, like everything's super cool. There's a picture of flower horn right there, and uh, as you can see, they're super cool looking. They got the big knot on their head, and uh, that's what we're gonna be putting right here. So that'll look super cool once everything is done. But you know, there's always projects going on on this channel, and uh, I'm gonna take this time to say if you guys haven't done so already, join the family, hit the subscribe button, don't miss out. New pond and a whole backyard is coming on April 12th. Was isn't far away at all. But with that being said, let's just get this fish tank in here. And then within the next week or two, we'll get the water in, set everything up throughout the tank, and then let it cycle, get the flower one later on, and so on and so forth. Let's get this tank. Well, we've got our glass top, our LED, and the tank itself right here. So this thing's pretty damn heavy. Oh, Why are you? Shh, shh. Babies, let's go. Follow me. Look over here. Oh. Are you being for real? Oh my gosh, dude! How did you know? Lift me up! Lift Don't me no up. no we can't touch no, him. I'm not gonna touch him. I just want to see him. See him. Oh Look my him. god, they're so small. Let me see. Let me see. Lift we me up. we freaking Lift found baby birds, bro. Oh, bro, that's Look so sick. All right, let's leave him alone, bro. Right, that's guys. awesome. All right, see you guys later. Mom's gonna finish up what she's doing. I don't know, but that was super. How did you know there were baby birds? A water tester. Alrighty, and there's two lid, and then it's two lids with the light on top, just like that. A 65 gallon fish tank right there. So we're not only getting what I thought was just gonna be one species that I wanted, the discus, which is gonna go in here now. We're getting both, the discus and the flower horn. The flower horn is coming soon, but uh, guys, that is his tank right there. Now filtration wise, these guys that are running this right now are 65 gallon filters per piece so I'm getting one of the UV pumps and it goes under here so we're getting one of those in just a little bit it's on order it's on the way so I don't know when that's gonna show up but we're gonna switch those filters right there out for that and then these will go over to here by the time this water and everything's ready in there so a few things going on like always Wait, lights off oh damn that thing is bright that's nice. So what I'm planning on doing is just a black sand driftwood type thing for him. The tank is lit up and eventually we'll have sand driftwood live plant. Maybe live plants, not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Let me know, artificial or live plants down below. What do you think for a male flower horn? This tank right here is going to be awesome. Let's take a quick thumbnail. Alright, so as you can see, just glass top openings right here. Super perfect. Perfect for feeding him. Oh, I can't wait. Well, now that the room is a mess again, uh... I've got to get Luna a spot. I think I'm going to bring that filing cabinet over to there and put it right there and Luna goes there. All right, everything is now plugged in and Luna is happy in this little corner here just like she was right there. But since that's there, now we've got her over here. Like we need another fish. That's right. This is for the flower horn. Then how do you mess up the wall about it? No. Kind of. No. Well, last video I, uh, yeah, again, I always forget to do the positive comment shout out, but today, I did not forget. Today's positive comment shout out goes to Vlogs Buys, I believe you pronounce it. Love your videos so much. Your consistency and hard work have truly inspired me to be the same. Keep up the awesome work. Hashtag Kafaro Fam for life. Thank you and everyone else for the consistent support. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys do want to be on one of the upcoming videos for a positive comment shout out, comment something positive down below. And guys and girls, we have a new fish tank. 65 gallons ready for the flower horn. It is going to be 